Hello everyone, I um, wanted to show you the latest gravity motor I built here several months ago. I didn't show anybody, I had it running, but I've taken it down to do some extra uh, some improvements. Um, I'll give you a little closer view here. It's a pretty simple design. Uh, I think the um, probably most interesting part of it is I, I went to a ball screw. Ball screws now are really low in price, I mean, maybe in the under sub $35. It's got nice bearings. Have a ball bearing uh, block here in the center, and uh, uh, it gives you a really nice smooth movement. It gives you good. It also gives you a nice uh, leverage, you might say uh, gearing. I mean, uh, this here is nice. This is a interesting. I got a, a rubber connector in here. I made with a with a, I love using rubber tube for for universal joints. This is a such a universal joint in here and uh, uh, also like using copper tubing for stuff because it's really strong and it's super easy to work with it gives you a nice uh, arm here it's very and then uh, I use a simple uh, drill motor here just because they were cheap I had this old Harbor Freight one most people have it around I actually have a brushless motor I'll be changing this out with um, on the top here, I normally had these uh, limit switches, but I don't like those. I've gone to um, Hall Effects. I'll be putting up here instead. A little more reliableness on this, and I don't have to worry about the gap so much. I got some new motors I'm putting on. I mean, new batteries I'm putting on. And the linear slider, just simple uh, drawer slides. Uh, I use a combination of some solid state FETs here and uh, relay. And this is all controlled by the relay as, as the intelligence uh, limit switches here uh, I moved these in for a test I was doing but I'll move these back out here um, when it actually runs running when I'm actually running it and uh, uh, it's basically all works on a simple logic that you, know, you trigger up here that activates the state to lift it in this case always lifting and um, it tell, hits the limit switches and that will disable everything until the next rotation, the next rotation comes around, and uh, that will tell it to go uh, lift again, and then it will hit the limits. It'll run until it hits the limit switches, then it shuts itself off. So pretty simple logic there. Um, well, that's it. I just want to give you a quick view. Sorry, I'm not having it running right now for anybody for you guys, but I didn't want to keep waiting, not posting while I kind of monkey around with stuff. Uh, as I said in my, some of my comments, I'm really focused on electrical uh, energy systems, and uh, I'm kind of writing a book on that, um, my discoveries, uh, or what I've, not want to say, but my, what I've learned. And, uh, uh, but I wanted to show this. I love gravity motors. Uh, I think they're super fun to build and to see operate. Um, so um, this is another really cheap way for people to, to get into this you see some you know like i said the reason i posted my original was to show people you didn't have to spend a lot of money on hydraulics and air pumps and and whatnot just to get started in this uh, to play around with these i'm just gonna get a side view here for you um, simple shafts Kind of reaching over some stuff. Everything's, oops, sorry. Everything's kind of a mess here right now. But, all right. Well, uh, again, thanks for all those comments. And uh, thanks for everybody who checks it out. I just kind of, I love watching other people's YouTube videos. I'm not very good at it. But I I, uh, I just wanted to kind of share and, and show that, you know, uh, to get, you know, I feel like I'm always taking. And sometimes I like to, to, to give back to that community of other sharers. So, here you go.